In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, all praise be to him who is the sole sustainer and supreme creator of this universe. May all the blessings and bliss on the holy soul of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Listeners and viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome in the second program of Social Work Education series from the forum Voice of Social Workers. Uh, this time uh, I will be trying to answer a very common and typical question that is usually posed to the social workers. Uh, you see, whenever a social worker gets himself or herself introduced and tells about uh, his or her uh, field of education, field of qualification, and the most common question that we have to face is difference between social work and sociology. Uh, whenever there is introduction, we, we tell others about our uh, discipline, our degree, master's, honors, MPhil, or even PhD. Most of the people uh, uh, recognize and they identify social work uh, as sociology or as branch of sociology, part of sociology. That might be due to the reason that the word social is a part of the name of the both of the disciplines like social work and sociology. Uh, it is uh, present in, in both names, uh, in the both name of the disciplines. That might be the reasons. There might be many more reasons. This is how uh, the confusion prevails and even the most educated people, they feel and they think that social work is a kind of a branch part of sociology. So let's try to figure out and find out what are the major differences that make these two fields, two different disciplines, fine. So we'll be discussing and we'll be trying to understand all the points one by one. Point number one uh, that lies uh, between, uh, bo between social work and sociology and, and, and draws a clear cut line that sociology is a discipline whereby the focus is on the study of society. It's, it, 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 it studies the structure of society. It carries out a scientific inquiry about the society, about the social phenomena, what is happening in the society and how are the things going on in society? What are the ways of living of the human beings in the society? So sociology simply creates theories about the social behaviors, about the social phenomena, about all the social occurrences. So in other words, you may say that sociology informs us about society, whereas in contrast, social work is a subject that is not interested in studying society, in carrying out research work about exploration of the social phenomena. Rather, the major focus of the social work is on reformation. It struggles and strives to reform the society. It, it, it struggles to bring betterment in the society. So social work is a reforming science, whereas sociology is an informing science. Sociology informs us about society, whereas social work tries to reform the society. So there are two different lines of action, two different uh, ways of working, two divergent directions. Sociology is simply going towards study of the society, fine, and social work is going towards development of the society. Point number two, that the product product of the sociology, if we take it as a discipline and the end result, the end product of the sociology is creation of knowledge. Find the so supreme objective of a sociologist, of sociology as a discipline is to produce knowledge, is to create more and more knowledge about the society, about the happenings in the society. Whereas the end result, the end product of the social work discipline is to bring positive social change in the society. So all the focus of the social work is on bringing positive social change in the society, whereas the entire focus of the sociology is to create more knowledge about the society. So again, here you may find the two different lines of actions. They are two different disciplines in terms of objectives, in terms of ultimate goals. Point number three, that sociology is the discipline where it has audience as fellow sociologists. I mean, the audience of the sociology are the fellow sociologists or the social scientists or the learners, those who want to learn about society. So sociology addresses those people who are learning about society and they, they, they turn to be the audience of sociology. Whereas the audience of the social work discipline are the vulnerable people, people living in disadvantageous conditions 
conditions so the poor people the downtrodden sections of the society the 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 vulnerable sections and the factions of the communities they are the true audience of the social work so in terms of audience they are two different they are having two different groups of audience and point number four that sociology by temperament is a non-judgmental discipline whatever is going on in the society what is taking place in the society there are different social problems social evils social maladies that are occurring in the society and we can see uh, the happenings of these things but sociology does not label them as a social problem sociology does not judge them as the social evil sociology as a discipline takes every everything as a social phenomena how is it why is it what are the reasons behind that but sociologist does not uh, label them as a social evil why because he or she is not having in it in the scope of the study it is not the mandate of the sociologist to make any judgment whereas social work as a discipline makes a judgment it's a judgmental discipline so all the social evils all the unwanted situations they are labeled as social problems as social evils and social workers they struggle to eradicate to overcome the social problems to make the society problem free a place to live fine so this is another another difference between both of the disciplines whereby we find that sociology is non-judgmental fine so it is not on the mandate of the sociology to judge whereas the social work as a discipline makes a judgment and takes a step forward so differences doesn't mean being superior and, 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 and inferior rather difference means that we are trying to study the, the difference between the subject matter of the, the two of these two disciplines and here we have the four points sociology is informing science whereas social work is a reforming science sociology the end product of the sociology is knowledge whereas the end product of the social work is positive social change the audience of the sociology are the fellow sociologist or the social scientist whereas the audience of the social work or the are the vulnerable people vulnerable communities individuals and groups and number four that sociology is indeed a non-judgmental science whereas social work is a judgmental science where it judges the situations and unwanted situations are declared and labeled out as social problems for this uh, point number four i give you an example and then we will be concluding our talk you must have seen uh, on different television uh, channels that in the forest in the jungle in the wild life in the life that is in the natural setting there are two type two type of people one is called wildlife conservation two type of activities we, we, we find wildlife conservation activity and number two is wildlife study activity those who are working on wildlife conservation they intervene the wildlife they go in the forest they study and if animal animal are in trouble if they are in trap if they are suffering from any disease they intervene the life of uh, you know uh, the, the, the the animal kingdom and they try to bring some betterment for them whereas those who are simply studying the life in the wild the life in the jungle they simply study they sit on a distance in a camouflage and they study what is happening there what is taking place there how the predator is killing the weak animal how a strong animal is killing the weak animal if some chick of the bird has fallen down from the nest the those who are making the study they don't bring it back to the nest whereas the conservation team they bring the chick back to the nest if an animal has fallen down into the ditch so the conservation team tries to take the animal out of that ditch so it means the conservation team intervenes the life of the people intervenes the life of animal to 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 make their life better and comfortable whereas the other team that is indeed simply watching observing and studying and they tell us about what happens in the jungle in the natural setting of life similarly sociology is 
is a discipline, a sociologist stays on a distance and simply studies what is happening in the society, what is going on in the society, what kind of relationships people have, how they come into interaction, how do they form their cultures, their civilizations, their language, what sort of phenomena are going on, how do they make relations, how do they break relations, what are the reasons of breaking down of the relationship. So sociologist simply studies. Whereas a social worker, he not only studies, rather he intervenes if any negativity is going on, if there's any breakdown of the relationships, if the relationships are going sore and people are drifting apart and if the social problems are arising in the society and affecting the life of the people, social worker, they intervene and they try to make the situation better. So this is how they are two different disciplines with two different approaches and they become two different fields of qualification. General understanding that they are similar looking disciplines they are identical discipline that is wrong understanding that is misperception indeed whereas they are two different disciplines on all those points that we have on the basis of all those points that we have discussed thank you so much